Hello, and welcome to Teacher Canvas Bootcamp. This is Roger Bright. In this video, we're going to go over disabling and enabling features in Canvas that your students will have access to. Since this is only our second year with Canvas and you only do this once, it's easy to forget how this video is to serve as a reminder. You'll need to start by selecting your desired course from your dashboard. If you haven't published your courses, and if you haven't disabled your features yet, you probably shouldn't have, your unpublished courses will be at the bottom of the dashboard. So scroll down. I'm selecting Emerging Leaders. If you look at my unpublished courses, you see I only have three. Civics, Emerging Leaders, and Homeroom. The reason there's only three is because I have already cross-listed my civics classes and I only have one section of emerging leaders. To avoid having to disable your features repeatedly, if you plan to cross-list, I would do that first. That way, your disabling of the features only has to take place once. After you select your course, Canvas will take you to Courses Selected homepage. Since I haven't set my homepage, it takes me to the default homepage for Canvas, which is Modules. Scroll down until you see the word Settings in the blue menu on the left. And now click Settings. Next, you're going to click on the Navigation tab from the menu above. If you look above, you see that the menu says Course Details, which is the page you're at now, Sections, which is where you would go to Cross List, Navigation, which is where we're going to go, Apps, Feature Previews, and Integrations. So as I said, click on the Navigation tab. When you click on Navigation, you'll see a list of the features that your course can have and those features will match up with the blue menu to the far left. Right now, it just shows you the features that are active. So scroll down. When you get to the bottom of the first list, you see that it is active or enabled features. Below that is another list, and that list contains disabled features. There are two ways to disable features. The first way would be to click on the three vertical dots to the right of any feature that you want to disable. When you click on those dots, a pop-up menu will appear with the option to disable that particular feature. So click on Disable. When you click on Disable, Canvas is going to take you back to the top of your enabled features. But if you scroll down, you will see that the feature that you disabled, in this case, Legends of Learning, is now in the disabled list and will not be visible to your students. Scroll back to the bottom of the enabled features to learn the second and easier way to disable. Especially at the beginning of the year, you're going to want to disable a lot of the features. And the easiest way to do it is just to click and drag. So in this case, we're going to click and drag a feature that we want to disable from the enabled list, and we're going to drag it down to the disabled list. That's it. Keep clicking and dragging until you have disabled all the features you don't want your students to see and use in your course. Lastly, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen and click the blue save button to save these changes. There might come a time where you want to enable a feature that you previously disabled and you can enable a feature using the exact same two methods we just learned only in reverse. You can either click and drag from the disabled list to the enabled list above. In this case, we're going to look at achieve math or Click on the three vertical dots on the disabled feature and you will see that the pop-up menu now says enable. Click on the enable and that will move it up to the enabled list and will be visible to your students.
Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.